Hey y'all, Boogie Night here. How's it going? And welcome back to Sonic Boogie Plays Amnesia The Dark Descent. Thank you so much for coming back and joining me on this weird, trippy journey. Um, also, just one quick thing I want to get out of the way while I continue trekking around in the dark. Um, thank you so much for the comments and constructive feedback you guys have given me so far on both the... Light this thing so I don't freak out for a second. Um, actually, let's go ahead and run back in here for a second while I talk out of my ass for a second. There, there we go. Alright. <clears throat> um, I just want to say a quick thank you to everybody who has given me uh, positive and constructive feedback on both my Let's Plays and my um, Sonic Boogie reviews. I really appreciate it. It's helped me become a better YouTuber. It's helped me become a better blogger across the board. So, keep the comments coming. Let me know what you think. And overall, thank you for just keeping, a, keeping up with me on this. <sighs> so that being said, Let's run around like pre and children that just watched Cannibal Holocaust for the first time, shall we? So, when we last left off our intrepid, fearless hero who is fond of nervous breakdowns, we were here at this wall, fragile but not breakable by hand. Now, we can't go back the way we came because of this lovely little cave -in. So, if we're looking at basic physics puzzle, it said that you cannot be, it can be broken but not by hand. Oh, what do we got here? Let's get mementos. Must find a new way out of the area. Really? In other news, sky blue. So let's, uh, can we find something to maybe... Oh, why not? Let's pick up a cockroach and destroy the wall with it. You know what? We've been... We've been a real bastard in these chairs recently, so let's... Let's keep the mayhem up. Let's see if we can break this wall open with a chair. Oh, well, looky Lou, That actually worked. Let's check our stats. Slight headache. Okay, we're making progress. That's good. Yep. Ugh. You have to be swift when you activate the first one. You hear that? If it stops, you'll have to start over. Isn't all this a bit excessive? You can never be too careful, then. <sighs> what sort of flashback did we just witness now? There must be some sort of secret door mechanism in the local history room. Okay. Uh... Oil. Let's go ahead and add some more. Because there's more oil right over here. Yoink. Thank you very much. So this is actually a three-part puzzle. So what I want to do right now before we try and attempt things, we want to go... There's one. We look for the discolored books. Okay, that's not one. Two. Nothing over here. So let's... Ooh, there's another page. Hang on a tick. Can we find book number three? Where is it? There it is. So we have to pull all three books in rapid succession in order to open the locked door, which will take us to where we need to go. Before we do that, let's have some more mayhem with chairs. They don't make physics puzzles for a reason, folks. It's to raise hell. One potato, two potato. Oh, come on. All right. You are the weakest link. Goodbye. Let's see what we got here. Altstadt in Brennenburg, Castle 1801. Another region rich with lore is Altstadt, deep within the East Prussian woods. For centuries, there have been stories surrounding the hamlet and its neighbor, Castle Brennenburg. The quiet forest clad mountains, dressed with scattered lakes, is as picturesque as it can be, albeit the area is haunted by the dark. Ask any local, and you will hear proof of widespread superstition. All travelers should indulge themselves in such conversation since it will certainly serve as exciting entertainment. Well, they don't embellish much, do they? All of them have had their own twists of the tales, but there are some motifs that keep reappearing. The Gatherers. This story reaches all the way back to the time of the Thirty Years' War. It is said that soldiers who abandoned their duty got lost in the cold, dark woods and were forever damned to roam the grounds. Their bodies, wrought by their tainted souls, have left them disfigured and empty of essence. Many have sighted them over the years and described them as horrid revenants. They move silently through the woods, shying away from the beholder. They are called gatherers as they seem to follow some ambition to steal living creatures. Also uplifting. It is their prey, which can be heard struggling inside damp burlap, burlap sacks, dragging, dragged behind them, which reveal their presence. What dark scheme do they follow? Next chapter. <clears throat> A visit undone. Heinrich Cornelius Agrippa, the well-known erudite... 
visited Alstadt at the start of the 16th century. He resided in the local inn for a fortnight as he looked for the remnants of Kingdom's past. During his stay, all the prominent members of society paid notice, and he is mentioned in many records of the time. One day, he went to investigate a burrow in the Northwest Glades, only to never be seen again. Heinrich is known to have passed away in Grenoble t some ten years later. He dismissed the notion of ever visiting Alstadt, which makes you wonder what really happened. Who was this mysterious man? Who visited the sleepy hamlet, and what happened to him? And actually, Agrippa, if you don't know, it was an actual famous um, person. I'm not going to go into too many details because I don't know much about him, but I do know he was an actual person. And finally, the immortal Baron. The Baron of Brennenburg lives a reclusive life with his family at his castle nearby Alstadt, and like most of these noble birth, those of noble birth, rumors are inherited alongside with the title, otherwise known as the paparazzi nowadays. Researching the history reveals little before the castle was consumed by fire in the late 16th century. It is rebuilt by Alexander, a nobleman from Rheinland, claiming the role as protector of the Prussian slate. Alexander helped the region to flourish and remain popular throughout his presumed lifetime. The family has always been secretive when it, came, when it comes to lineage and heritage. Therefore, the birth and death of Alexander and his offspring has never been fully recorded. This has fed the idea that the Baron is in fact the one and same who came from the West over 300 years ago, lived through the time of occupation, and joined the coveted Order of the Black Eagle, along with the great leaders of the country. So there you go, we have a little bit of some backstory and history to that which is the reclusive and elusive Alexander. Well, I've read enough, so let's take care of this puzzle. Let's see, where was book number one? And I lost it already. Well done. Ah, da -ha -ha. Never mind, that wasn't the one to begin with. You lie. Damn it. it oh, there we go. Okay, so... Gotcha. Where is it? Where? Ah ha ha! There we go. Behind door number three. Let's, uh, anything good? No. Oil? Damn, we're going through oil like I'm going through Chinese food. Holy crow. I know, we need the key, but I want to take a look first. Wilhelm and his fools have endangered my research long enough with our absent-minded handling of the human vessels. Human vessels, I love it. The sheriff is keeping a watchful eye on the force and is killing my trusty servants. It is just a matter of time until they follow the trail to Brennenburg. I need to lock Wilhelm and his men up to, further, to avoid further investigation from the public. The wine cellar will therefore be sealed off until this matter is handled. Either the king's men leave or they will starve. Whatever comes first, they can rot for all I care. Maybe I will feed them some wine. It would send salt. They're both my problems. Um, something I forgot to mention earlier when we were looking at the lore, the gatherers are actually the main enemy of the game. So, or as I like to call them, Cenobite Rejects, which you will soon see, because we will be running across some of those very soon. Okay, so we've covered all the bases, so let's go take the key. Ugh! Slight heading. We're still okay. Oil's okay. We're good. Okay, let's uh, let's keep going. And that's the way we need to go out. Um, now I know back in the beginning I avoided a, a door. Make sure there's nothing else. This was the locked door that I couldn't get through. So actually, let's add some more oil. I know I'm going through quite a bit, and I never looked this. Things you forget. Okay. Um, let's make sure I didn't miss anything. Let's go back in here and take a look and see what the- Duh! And that, ladies and gentlemen, was a glimpse of our first enemy, the Gatherer. Um... That's still only a slight headache. You are a trooper, Daniel. I am impressed. Let's tread a little carefully here. Um, I'd rather not get gathered. Let's make a run, shall we? And we're actually going to run again through the entrance hall, because we're about to get attacked by the Shadow. The desert dunes were like waves in a sluggish sea, while the caravan moved and the land appeared motionless, but in camp the hills moved. Run. 
Damn it. Now that, my dear friends, is Ephesence of the Shadow. Well, it's okay, because we're not going to go back there again. How are we looking? Head pounding, hand shaking. All is good health-wise. I'm surprised. Ugh. Another cave in. Ugh. Well, now you see the type of game that we're getting ourselves into, folks. If this is something that you don't think you can continue, turn back now. Otherwise, listen to the air blowing through the mystical castle. Um, okay. So, the key was to the wine cellar, which is where we need to go to get our ingredients for the chemical that will be used to dissolve this fleshy substance thing. Um... So, we have two more spots to go before we can actually go through there. Uh, stop number one. Is this where I need to go? Old archives. That's actually, I believe, the lab. No, that's actually where I just came from. Derp! I'm an idiot. Sorry. Let me have a sip of my fizzy water right quick. Ugh. Okay, we are not going to get many more sanity back until after we overcome some puzzles. So we're going to go down here to the next two areas, which is the wine cellar and the lab. So first of all, we're going to use the key to the wine cellar to get the ingredients for the substance, which I don't know why they have, because the lab, we're going to go there originally to put our magical, nice little ingredients together to have some, an acid that melts the shadow. Personally, I don't know why he needs to make acid. He could just watch Monkey King with sending two magic and feel like he's dropping acid, and that should work just fine, but I'm getting ahead of myself. Oh, excuse me. Oh, hard. There we go. All right. Slight headache. The statues were praying, gazing into the dark domed ceiling. So they're from Doctor Who. Okay. Yes, standing in darkness will slowly train. I know, I know. I don't want to keep going through oil like this, but we will get more later on. And I'm not going to light any torches. Damn it. Where did the tyrant go? Who cares? He left us with a wine to last us a lifetime. Or at least until tomorrow. Did I just hear a gatherer? No, okay. Yes. Look for a way out or drink into oblivion. I'm gonna- I would rather try and find a way out, but, you know, each their own. Things are getting hairy down here. That tiny hand shaking. Um... I'm gonna hold off just a second. Try and see if I can regain my sanity. And we're not gonna get gathered despite the noise. I don't think not this early in the game. But I've been wrong before, so who knows? Let's just take a second to right ourselves. I don't want to stand here in the dark too much, or just because I'm wasting time just blathering like a moron. So, hacksaw, hammer. Just get our ingredients and go. I believe there's four we need to get. So we've got uh cuprite, or cuprite. Okay, we need to keep we need to go. The only way we're gonna keep going is by solving more puzzles and getting our ass out of dodge, so let's walk around here. Let's keep going. Am I getting nervous? Of course. Ah! Ugh! Wait, ah! Oh, damn it, they're on my screen! Holy hell. No, get off! Oh, that was a nice refill. Dude, enough! Ugh. Oh, they're crawling on my face. Daniel, if they're doing that, you need a bath. Ah! Up, buddy. We've got some tinder, so let's go ahead and 
light the torch for a minute here. So there is a cave in. We can't go out that way, so we gotta find a way to get up there and walk back around. So there's always a way. So we got three out of the we got two out of the um I think three or four ingredients. So Okay. Let's think for a second here. Can I drag this? Can I crawl? Oh, oh! Oh, that's actually more simple than I thought. But that doesn't help. Oh, oh! Okay. Like I said, y'all, it's been quite a bit of time since I played this game, so, um... Let's push... Let's conserve our oil. We got a torch lit over here. I really don't want to blow through too much of this. Down at the base. Come on. Okay, there we go. Now we can drag this. This is very basic physics puzzle, so, I mean, if you think... So, if you're trying to drag something out and you want to tilt it out of the way, you need to do it in the direction you're doing it. So, if you're trying to drag it from the base, you grab at the base. You grab from the top, you grab from the top. Okay. Okay. And then... There we go. Okay. Don't land on me. Okay. Okay, we've wasted enough time. Let's keep going. Okay. So, I... Th Ooh! That was better than I expected. Hey, yo. Let's uh, go down in here. Do we have any? I have nowhere else I can go except that one area. Like, oh no, hang on. I got another area. Ugh. You know, you could just say you don't want visitors. Okay, we're gonna get another glimpse of some gatherers in here, so we're gonna... Creepsy over here. Head patting, head shaking. Ooh, there we go, some laudanum. We need that. I'm not here. I'm not here. Let's just let's face the darkness for a second. Keep your head in the corner like it's Blair Witch. Okay, we're fine. We're good. Are we alright? Now the little clicking noise you hear is not me personally, although I am thoroughly creeped out. That is the sound Daniel makes when he starts getting close to losing his mind. Oh, crap. It's an ellipses. Not good. Not good. That means we're one step away from fainting. Let's... Use a tinder for a second. I want to see if we can maybe... I think we're... I'm, I'm concerned we're gonna... If we don't do something here, I'm concerned we're gonna faint. Okay, we're back to hand-pounding, hand-shaking. Okay, good. Is there anything right here? Dropping stuff. Come on, there's. I've got to miss something on the shelves around here in my haste of creeping around through the dark. Is there anything? Boards. Okay. Let's just keep going. I think we're past the danger zone. Um. Hope we're past the danger zone. If not, we're proper boned. Oh, look, the door's open that, uh, our jerk guest. Ooh, more tender. I'll take that, and thank you very much. I don't want to keep blowing through so much. There's got to be an ingredient around here, otherwise they wouldn't have just let us in like this. We did get more tender. Okay, we're slowly regaining our... Bring in our step. For as much as I can be for day. Oh, ah, ha, ha, ha! There it is! Give me that. Orpiment. I have no idea what that is. 
Dude, get off my face! Okay. So we gotta go through that last door. Get that last ingredient. I... 90% sure there's four ingredients, otherwise they would not have the door there. And then we can go to the lab. We can put together our... And let's go ahead and close the doors we've already been into, just in case there are any gathers lurking about. Calm down, Daniel. We're okay. Dude, your contacts are practically ready to pop out. Okay. Let's close this, just in case. Gathers do have an tendency to pull up, bust down doors. You will find that out later on in the game. Oh. What's happening? Oh, it feels like hmm. my chest is going to burst. That's a hell of a hangover. My God, Wilhelm, do something! What can he do? Except that we're not getting out of here. How can you say that? Alexander, you piece of shit! Let us out of here! <laughs> Mm. Well, I think it's safe to say that the uh, guys are officially taking a dirt nap with the baby Jesus. That is why you don't drink the water. Open. There we go. Box. Basket. Ah, what is this? Another note. My name is Wilhelm, House of Gerek. These are my final words, my confession and testament. Two years I was summoned to the castle Brennenburg. As most of the aristocracy, I was curious about what... The supposed knight of the order could want from me and accepted the invitation. The Baron was friendly and offered me a proposition. It dawned on me that the nature of the contract was sordid and that the reason I was chosen was because of the follies of my past and not the honors I had been rewarded with during my time as a soldier. I had been rewarded with during my time as, uh, excuse me, I was to kidnap healthy humans upon his slightest whim and do so without asking questions. In return, he would attest to my character at the royal court, advancing my position within noble society. I would like to claim that I struggled with my decision, but it came swiftly, and I accept it wholeheartedly. Ever since that day, I brought men, women, and children there's a trifecta you never want to read to Brennenburg. I can't remember the numbers, but there were many, perhaps even a hundred, none of whom were ever seen or heard from again. Tonight, the Baron invited me and my men down to the wine cellar to celebrate our work. I had my suspicions as we descended the stairs, and but he insisted and joined us in a toast. The wine tasted fine, and my men drank without restraint. So begins the punishment for our sins. The Baron has locked us up and returned upstairs. Forgive me for what I have done. I was weak and fell into his diabolic ways. My men are screaming if their skin has been pierced by their own tangled bones. Ugh! I feel my insides revolt against their God-given nature. Blood has become, begun to pour from my eyes and I can no longer dot dot dot. Wilhelm's last words. Yeesh. So I think it's safe to say that these guys are the actual gatherers. Picked up Aqua Regia. Ooh, crystal clear, good. So I think it's safe to say, as I've said before, with glow-in-the-dark residue, what be lurking above me? I think it's safe to say we're gonna creep under the dark for a second here. We're crystal clear so I can afford to take some brain damage. You know, I think that's actually something all my college roommates have said back in the day when they drank so heavily. We're okay. I don't think there's... I think we've avoided the worst of it, so let's go ahead and make a mad dash, Jim Cramer style, up the stairs, into the lab. There's nothing else for us here. And into the entrance hall we go. After enduring three days in Algiers, a sailboat was finally arranged to take him across the Mediterranean Sea to Gibraltar, having reached British territory, it was just a matter of reserving a cabin on SS Hortensia headed for London. No, 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 no. Avoid. Ah, damn it. A few cuts and bruises. Shadow's growing. Let's make this acid, shall we? It became impossible to avoid. The commotion in the streets begged for his attention. As he opened the shutters, the French soldiers opened fire on the two young men fighting back. Their voices were silenced in a haze of gun smoke. Did I mention that this game is uplifting? Oh, God, sorry it. Okay, we've got 12. Let's light our path for a second here and regain our senses. 
So, we collected the four ingredients from the wine cellar. Why they have chemical ingredients to make a powerful acid. And a screaming baby. This is just preparation for when agony comes out. Just preparation for when agony comes out. You're gonna be fine. Um... Slight headache. Get what's getting closer? The cockroaches crawling across your face will wash up a little bit. Oh god, I forgot about that. It's a bloody Kerdick. And there goes my last oil drum. Chemical relocation. The lack of a chimney to properly vent the fumes from my most recent experiments has taken its toll on many less stable ingredients in storage. Some seem affected, but many are stained by the fumes and will take it be difficult to salvage. I shall do what I can and move them to the wine cellar. Okay. Um, let's look around here. More oil. Good, I need that. Mmm. There should be more Kubrak. Let me see, let me see. And one part aqua force. Mm. Okay. Chemistry pot, we will need that. Early alchemy experiment. This is my third attempt to produce artificial vitae. The former compounds lack the potency I need, but I sense I'm close. Calamine and orpiment are a given, and the cuprite binds them as well. This time I will attempt aqua regia instead of aqua fortis, and hope that it will produce a more even resolution. The experiment was unsuccessful. The solution is highly acid, and proves impractical to put in use except as a detergent. Organic tissue reacts especially violently to the solution, and should be handled with the grace of care. I might be able to use the recipe, but I'm losing hope that I will find an alchemic solution to my predicament. Now, what he means by Vitae, you will discover later on in the game, and we'll delve into more, definitely a lot more excessively. So, what do we got? Evidence in laboratories revealed that combining four chemicals can create a powerful acid. Okay, yes, we already have that, so... Let's get more tinder. Let's uh, light that sucker up for a second. Light him up, 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 I'm on fire! Okay, these things are what I call memory canisters. They actually are memories of Alexander Brennenborg. So if you click on one like this, you get an acid trip. One day, I will return. If it wasn't for the thought of you, my love, I wouldn't be able to go on. When I find myself doing terrible things, I take comfort in you. As long as I'm able to think of you and long for a life together, I know I'm better than the others. I weep for them. They lust for power without restraint where I only crave fair judgment and a safe return. You will see these things more often than not as the game goes on. But let's stop diving into memories. Let's make some acid. So, we have... Uh, probably can't see, so... Let's drop that thing there. Aqua Regia... Where... Oh, it goes here. Warpament goes here. Oh, okay, it lines it up automatically. Never mind. That makes it easy, because I sucked at chemistry. I mean, I was great at chemistry. Great. Fantastic. One of the best. Ugh, that baby crying is really going to unnerve me. Okay, so now we need to turn on... Oh, excuse me. Let's... Light that up. Spin that. Spin that. I'm working as fast as I can, alright? And there's our pot of acid. Slight headache. A few cuts and bruises. Let's go on and get it. Oh, hang on, I missed something here. Like more tinder. Take everything that isn't nailed down. I could use some more oil. I really could. 
but tinder will suffice. So let's go ahead and get out of this hellhole, shall we? Or not at all, because there you go. The stairs have collapsed. Find a way to climb back up. Well, we already have basic ideas for physics puzzles, so we are gonna get some light up here. And we are going to carry these over here. Or they just do it automatically for us. Well, that was easy. And up, there we go. And out the way we came in. Well, now you just got a 101 category in basic chemistry in a survival horror video game. He sat down by the cast ball wall, gasping for air, sweat poured from his forehead, and onto the ground, the sand filled ground. So he rocked the Casba? Oh, come! Okay, how are we doing? Still a few cuts and bruises. Okay, we're still in okay, relatively good shape. And we're back where we need to go. So back into the main hall. Follow the blood droplets. We're gonna go down yonder stairs. And here. Let's click on... I'm done with you, Whippoorwill. Let's see how tough you are when I throw a jar of acid on you. Achievement unlocked alchemist. Wait, whoa, this is new. I've, there were achievements in the old game. But you know what? I'll take it. So we're at a good stopping point for tonight, y'all. Um, hope you're having a fantastic time. Thank you so much again for watching. Um, I will try and do the next um, playthrough in a few days or so. But until then, y'all have a wonderful evening, and I'll catch you on the flip side, all right? Peace.